into my second Airbnb. This, this seems more like the true Parisian experience. Uh, it's a loft. And it's nice. Uh, it's brightly lit. It's not the newest apartment, but you know, I can get used to that. Hello. Oh, the shower room is spacious. Okay, that's good. Oh my god. Okay. So we needed to carry all of this up six flights of stairs and I felt really bad for the Airbnb host. Here you go, your new home for the next two weeks. My friend got me this electric heating pad and it's a lifesaver. Yes, nobody approves. Now this week, I wanted to try some of the best breakfasts and brunch places in town. And the first place I went to was a bistro called Le Select. I first wanted to go to a cafe nearby called the Cosmos Cafe, but I think it was closed because it was Easter day, so I came here instead. This place has great reviews as well. And I ordered scrambled eggs, the croissant, and a cafe lungo. I don't normally go for an espresso, I go for a cafe lungo, which is right in between an Americano and an espresso. The scrambled eggs were on the moister side, and the croissant was really good as well. It's not something that impressive, but sometimes simple is better. So I bought pants here recently, and the pockets go down to here. Women will know how good this feels. Oh my god, there's so much pocket room. Oh my god. Yes. Run, boy, run! Yep, we are on our way. I really need to look up what that is because I'm being very historically inaccurate and stupid. But that looks like a snitch, doesn't it? These people, the way they cut trees, it just looks like Minecraft. La, 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 la. Oh. These look like buttered popcorns. Chopak, chopak nam. I used to climb trees as a kid. One day I got really good at it and like got somewhere to about that height. And this ajashi that was passing by the neighborhood and he was like, What the f are you doing there? That's dangerous, get down. And he told my parents. My parents were like, Whatever. 
Ooh, they look like that food. Good food. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Tulips. Man, my eyeballs are burning. I need sunglasses. Okay, so I'm just trying to take in how grand and awesome this place is. And then, then I look to my left. iPhone 13 Pro. Okay, so it reads L'Armée Française, L'Embarqué, à Bologna. Bologna. Oh my god, too many people in white underwear. Stop it. Stop it right now. It's 10 a.m., sir. I wanted to try five guys for so long and it's here. Not today, not today. And then there's Burger King right next to it. I love this place. And McDonald's? What's going on? Okay, this is a wine bar that I always wanted to come to, but I can't go to right now. But this is called Cafe Berry. And I've been looking at this place since I was in Seoul. So you can check their menu via the QR code. And this is the weekend brunch menu. Let's see. So got my menu. I forgot what it was called. Um, oh yeah, it, it was the uh, toast with almonds and they put like butter and honey and all sorts of nuts on it and they put like flowers on it too it's so pretty yes and then i got chai tea latte oh so pretty yes and super hot ah. so the combination of sesame seeds and honey made it taste curiously like korean gangjong uh, for those who don't know, Korean gangjong is a traditional cracker that is made oftentimes with sesame and something sweet, like syrup. This place was supposed to be a healthy place, but it ended up feeling more like a snack with oat milk. But it's okay, I can have a snack before my main meal because my final destination was actually She Alain Miam Miam, which is a very cute name. And apparently, Chef Alain is known as the sandwich guy, and this place is very, very well known for its sandwiches. They had a selection of two semi-hard cheeses, and I went with their pastrami. Alors, it isn't cheap, but they say it's good. I waited about 20 minutes for my sandwich to get ready. It's here. I'm going to be having it for dinner, but I need to have a bite when it's fresh. Look at that. Ooh. So I came to a back alley where there isn't a lot of people. And I didn't know that I can just order a yam yam. I thought. I can only order a big yam yam and this thing is humongous. I think I'm gonna have it for days. Look at the pieces. Alright. Okay. I'm eating extra trash can. I put in all the vegetables. So I can taste like mushrooms and stuff. And I think there's like tomatoes in it and spinach. Oh, lettuce. I love it. There's too many people. Help me. Oh my god, it's dripping so much. But see this in the sun. It's beautiful. It's just really hard to eat right now. Look at that. They even have avocados in it. Oop, car. But the juice. Rediscovering the taste of vegetables these days. The best part about this sandwich was the grilled onion. 
and all the other vegetables that came with it. Uh, the ham and cheese. I think it's more like a European palate thing, and even without it, I think it would have tasted delicious.